Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you what to do after installing iOS 17.1.1. iOS 17.1.1 is a minor update to iOS 17, but it still includes a few important NT things that you should do after installing it. The first thing you should always do after installing any software update is to back up your device. This way, if something goes wrong, you can restore your data and get back to where you were. To back up your device, you can use iCloud or iTunes. To back up to iCloud, go to Settings, Apple ID, iCloud, iCloud Backup and turn on iCloud Backup. After you've backed up your device, you should check for updates to your apps. This is important because app developers often release updates to their apps to fix bugs and add new features. To check for updates to your apps, open the App Store and tap on your avatar. Then, tap on the Update button for every application that you have installed. You should restart your device after installing iOS 17.1.1. This will help to ensure that all of the changes made by the update have been applied. To restart your device, press and hold the power button until the slide to power off screen appears. Then, slide your finger from left to right to power off your device. To turn your device back on, press and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo. Also resetting your network settings is a good thing to do. Because of the issues that included slow Wi-Fi speeds and dropped connections for some users, after installing iOS 17 and iOS 17.1, this will reset all of your Wi-Fi, cellular, and VPN settings to their factory defaults. To do this, go to Settings, General, Transfer or Reset iPhone, Reset Network Settings. That's it. Those are the some things you should do after installing iOS 17.1.1. By following these steps, you can help to ensure that your device is running smoothly and that your data is safe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips and tutorials.